Now yeah, the minions will go now running the similar to with the dynamite. We look at how objects can be further manipulated by tagging them with orders. Right click on the punch bag to see what you can do with objects. Selecting the destroy tag will uh, summon most, minions uh. to dismantle the object. Selecting the move tag will allow you to choose mm -hmm. the location for the object. Try moving the punch bag. Yeah, I'll get more into explaining stuff when you get to the full game. Where minions interact with the object. If critical access points are blocked, the object cannot be used. Move this punch bag to a valid location. Not all of your duties are concerned with There we go. This button accesses the world domination screen. From this screen, you can send your minions and henchmen out into the world to perform various evil deeds. Yeah, nothing is doing uh, is done directly in this game. If you order something to be placed, first minions will grab some gold or briefcases if they are there, then head for the depot, and after some time come back with uh, a box containing whatever it, uh, you ordered, Ex except for explosives. They carry those on themselves, not the not in boxes. Five global defense alliances, each of which is further divided into regions. Patriot defends America and Japan. Saber protects Europe and its colonies. Hammer is charged with the defense of all Soviet nations. Anvil defends China and Southeast Asia. Smash is a coalition of Southern Hemisphere nations united in the fight against evil. As you perform evil deeds, you will experience rises in your heat and notoriety levels. Heat is an indicator of how much each alliance wants to bring you to justice. High heat levels will cause an alliance to send more dangerous agents to disrupt your schemes. Heat gradually erodes over time. Notoriety indicates your global status. It is your ultimate goal to become 100% notorious. Notoriety brings many rewards, but gaining it without gaining heat is a tricky job. You can dispatch your minions to any region of the world at any time. To do this, you must first select the region you want to send them to. Select the highlighted region. The operative bar okay, shows how many yeah. minions are in the selected region. There are currently two construction workers already here. Notice they are creating heat in that area by their presence. Click on the relevant minion type to send one to the region. Dispatch three more construction workers. Okay, uh, a bit about heat. Heat can make this game very tough at times if you piss off not multiple uh, uh, organizations at the same time. They all send stronger and more dangerous uh, operatives on the, of their own to the island. We'll look at each activity in turn once your minions have arrived. As your evil presence spreads across the globe, you may find that the world map becomes rather crowded. These buttons toggle markers on and off. Ah, your minions have arrived. Currently, they are all hiding. This means that they are safe from harm, but they are not actually doing anything useful yet. Stealing is the main way of obtaining cash. Click the stealing button to make your minions come out of hiding and start siphoning cash out of the region. Okay, the, uh, with stealing, this is where I get that uh, special condition I've been, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'll be doing, having with this uh, game because uh, stealing will raise your heat pretty fast, as far as I know, and thus will cause me to uh, get some time, uh, you know, get uh, a couple of uh, good money raids on, then retreat all of my uh, minions. And then uh, barricade myself into my evil lair. So, and that, if I would you know, to get my cash through stealing, that would most take up most of the game. So uh, I'll be using a money cheat to avoid stealing heat. That sounded a bit uh, not as one. <coughs> I'll be using the, f uh, the money cheat of this game to avoid getting heat through stealing. But I will still uh, use stealing for the first part of the game up until uh, I get my uh, first better Notice minion. Notice how your income level increased when you ordered these minions to steal. The more minions you have in a region, the greater your income will be. You should also be aware that military minions are better at stealing, and some regions provide more cash than others. Plotting is used to discover acts of infamy, which
which are evil deeds that can be carried out by your minions. Click the plotting button to try and reveal one. Your minions have uncovered an act of evil. Click on the marker to assess it. This screen allows you to examine the requirements of an act of infamy. There are many different acts to undertake throughout the world, providing rewards such as loot or new henchmen. Each act has its own minion demands. You must have the required numbers of the specified minion types in the region before you can attempt an act of infamy. You have enough construction workers in the region. Click the go button to make your minions perform the act of infamy. Okay, a bit about it. Uh, for the title, the resources required, the resources you have in the region, the description of the uh, act of infamy, the risk level, the lowest is zero, the highest is five, the time it will take, this can be manipulated by science minions, the amount of heat uh, finishing this will generate and the amount of not notoriety you will achieve by uh, completing it. Depending on the difficulty of the act, minions may well die while performing it. As long as you have at least one minion remaining when the act is completed, you will be successful. If all minions die, the act will fail. The act of infamy was successfully completed. You have been rewarded with a notoriety boost. Close the world map screen to return to the island view. Okay, uh, about that risk, you, uh, with this game, if you're doing acts of infamy, always bring extra minions, not just the requirement extra, perhaps even double at times, well, double or even twice as much. You should have all the basic information you need for you. I've rated the archives for suitable video footage that should prove helpful for more advanced topics. You'll be able to access these clips at appropriate times. That's about all I have to tell you. Oh, no, what are you doing? Please, no. I'm sure I can still be of use to you. Have mercy! No! I never liked you anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of the show of the humor of the game. And that's the tutorial of my slash test video. So, uh, I'll see how this works. Then I'll... I'll I'll adjust uh, the setting, uh, the audio settings of this game, uh, if needed. Uh, though I, uh, I won't be able to get this game full screen. It'll probably have bars because it is. Oh, perhaps no. I'll just go with this because so I don't know if any. Of this will won't fit in full screen, so uh, it'll it'll probably have bars behind side. That's. An um, a type of minion we can possibly yeah, control. But, uh, this has been a let's uh, pl let's play Evil Genius. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, join me next time when we get to the full game. But until then, have a nice day.